Hi, John here. Electricians need to know. Merry Christmas. I wanted to review some presents you could get your electrician. If uh, birthdays, uh, Father's Day, this some of these uh, items he really needs, uh, whether he knows it or not. Things that I've kept for oh, 50 years or so that I, I really relied on uh, just because I had them and I could rely on them. So we'll go through them really quickly so you'll kind of have an idea of what your electrician needs. Okay, outside of the regular tools that he has, he needs a, a new copy of the National Electric Code. It needs to be indexed and it needs to open flat so we can mark in it and, and uh, do all that. He needs a copy of an ugly. It's a really quick reference. It's really good. We've relied on uglies for a long time. A good set of gloves when you're pulling wire or pushing when you're pushing fish tapes uh, through conduit you need a good pair of gloves now these over the years you'll get knots and bumps in your hands if you don't have a good pair of gloves so he might think he doesn't need them but he does okay headlight for addicts things like that this uh, 3 watt LED it's great I love it um, it's good to have. I, it was right here on my belt. Suspenders. I put a lot of tools in my pockets. My pants want to fall down. I put these suspenders under my shirt. Keeps my pants up. <laughs> Mostly old guys would be need, needing that. Okay. A proximity tester. These guys. Handy. Handy. A notebook, a pencil, and a steel rule, six inch. It's great. Love it. Okay. High voltage gloves. Now these gloves used to cost an arm and a leg. They're about $150 now. These are 10,000 volt gloves. They're nice. They're working, uh, they're for working hot uh, buses. Okay, here's a mat. The mat is a 17,000 volt mat. This is more of an expensive one, but you can buy 30,000 volt mats now for about 130 bucks, 160 bucks. You just throw them down, jump on them, and you're isolated, and they're safe. He needs this, whether he knows it or not. This thing has saved me a few times. Okay, gloves and mat, very important. A wiggy. Most electricians need a wiggy. Now if you have a meter and the meter has a low Z scale, you don't need a wiggy. But that low Z is, is 3000 ohms per volt. The wiggy is 4000 ohms per volt and it'll test for power. This will test for power. But if your meter doesn't have a low Z, you need a wiggy. Or you need a meter with a low Z scale. Okay. Ampro. These things are really cheap. They're a hundred bucks. Uh, all kinds of things with them. They're really nice. Ampro. This is a 25 ohm, 250 watt resistor. It uh, works with a two resistor method when you're testing ground rods. It's great. I love it. It's very accurate. This is an oscillator. I love it. It's cutting in drywall, cutting cutting holes in, in all kinds of stuff. It's wonderful. I, I don't know why they didn't develop it 40 years ago. A right angle drill. Everybody needs a right angle drill. This is battery operated, by the way. And an impact tool. Everyone needs this impact tool. It's, it's super great. I bought this thing because it came free with a with a drill bit that I bought with a drill that I bought, I set it on the shelf for about six months, and then finally one of my helpers had one, and it was like zip. You know, I loved it. Okay, make sure he's got earplugs. Make sure he's got respirators. Make sure he's got a little back of the truck folds up against the wall. He won't even know he's got it. But if he needs that extra six inches, he's not gonna be doing all kinds of jumping up and down. See, needs this. 
Okay. This is a, you put a wall bot on this, and somebody borrowed my wall bot, so um, I'm assuming they'll bring it back at some point. And my uh, stud finder, so I don't have those with me, but you need a wall finder or wall bot or a stud finder. Little pocket knife, uh, hooks on the belt. All right, a small Phillips and a small straight screwdriver. Mirrors. Unibets, I love them, Unibets. Okay, this little gizzy will get me into just about everything. There's all kinds of tools on that. And it will get me into just about everything, like I said. You need a good level, and levels wear out, so you, they get dirty and they get nasty, and you need new levels. Now this is a bolt cutter. It's a threaded bolt cutter. You thread the bolts, the small bolts. Uh, thread them in, you go whack, and, and then unthread them, and the, the threads are good. I've had this for about 40, 45 years or so, and it still works fine. A good set of Allens. You're always wearing out the heads of these Allens, so get them a good set of Allens. A receptacle tester, nice to have. A good tape, a 25-footer. It's really great. A good sharp stripper. Love them. I've got about 20 of them. I, I, when they wear out a little bit, I go buy a new one. Now this, this is a wall finder. It gives me the distance between here and the wall over there. 17 foot and 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, not bad. Okay. Now, if he does any panels, this is a panel kit. It's got grease, it's got electrical grease, and it's got copper grease. And the copper grease is great for that flashlight. You put copper grease around the threads and put it together, it works great. And it doesn't screw up. This is a, this is a gauge that set the, the gap on breakers. These clean the gap, on, takes all the oxidation off the breaker. These are 2,000 and these blue ones are 4,000. You polish them up and then you take the, this and you clean the bus. This takes all the oxidation off the bus and off the stab and then you can clean the uh, the internal side of the breaker with this. Grease it with grease. It takes all the oxygen out of the connection and the connection will last for a very long time and uh, you set the gap on the connection and these would be set at 80 thousandths and um, it's a nice little kit at, you can get this kit at sugarelectric.com so these are some items uh, that your electrician needs whether he's got them all or not um, and a lot of them need to be renewed because they, they wear out, they get dull uh, they need to be renewed. So uh, look around and see what he needs and uh, give him a Merry Christmas. Happy birthday or a Happy Father's Day. So um, don't forget to subscribe and let your wife see this video. Maybe she'll come up with some good, good presents. Okay, bye.